Hi, hello, how are you? I'm well, thanks for asking. Uh, welcome back to a video on my channel. Today, got a bit of a different one. Well, is it different really? I don't know, it's probably not. But uh, some of you may know, if you've watched my other videos or if you know me personally, that I am a fan of video games, uh, which I think a lot of people are. You might be as well, which is great, because this video is gonna be perfect for you. So as you may have seen recently, there uh, was a poll put out by IGN, the game review company. They created a bracket to determine the greatest game of all time. Uh, and they had poll voting uh, from all their fans and determine one by one which team ended up as the greatest game of all time. Now, there was a lot of conjecture and uh, some dodgy calls, <laughs> uh, depending on who won each matchup and as well as uh, the winner in the end. Um, some people agreed, some people didn't, which is always gonna be the case. But I thought since hundreds of thousands of people can make a dodgy call, how about I make a video and make my own dodgy calls? It's perfect, right? So here I am making these calls. So we're gonna go through my own greatest game of all time bracket and we'll determine which game is actually the greatest game of all time because obviously my opinion matters more than hundreds of thousands of people right if they're qualified to do it i feel like i am probably also qualified to do it so let's go right so what i've done is i've put all of the games from the ign uh greatest game bracket into a little bracket online here um except i have changed a couple of games here or there so um, if I haven't played a game, I maybe changed it to a similar game in the series that I have played. Um, or if I thought a different game in that series was better than the game that was put in here, I put that in. Um, or I think there's also one or two games that I just had absolutely no idea about and put in a couple of uh, games that I really like. So um, a couple of them will be different, but this is almost, so I'd say this is probably 90% the same as the IGN bracket. Um, just tailored a little bit to my liking. So let's go in. As you can see, I've got all my matchups here. A little bit of a scroll down for you. There's 62 different games here. So we have 32 matchups to get through. Let's start up the top. The actual greatest game of all time. Let's figure it out. First up, we have Red Dead Redemption 2 versus Borderlands 2. Now, Borderlands, I haven't really played. Um, I've seen my brother play a bit. Red Dead Redemption 2 was actually Red Dead Redemption, the original, um, the first one in, in this bracket. But because I haven't really played that, and I have played Red Dead Redemption 2, and I think it's either just as good, if not better, I thought I'd put that in. Uh, also, before I go any further, with these games, because there's so many to get through, I am going to rush through most of them and just talk a little bit about the games. And then maybe in a later video, when we go through the later rounds, that's when I'll start to break down the game uh, further. Okay? So, for this first matchup, I have gone with Red Dead Redemption 2, of course. I think that that was going to be generally pretty agreed upon here. Okay, the next one GTA San Andreas versus Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, one thing that does annoy me in this bracket is the sheer amount of Mario games. There's like five Mario games in this bracket, it's a bit insane. I feel like one, maybe two at most should be in there, but I didn't make the bracket, okay? Uh, now Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I like Mario Kart, but it's just kind of eh. It's okay, it's fun at times, but it's not a game you can really sink your teeth into, you know? GTA San Andreas is a very good game, I only played a little bit of it because I was quite young at the time, but regardless, we've gone with GTA San Andreas. Okay. Next up, we have Star Wars Battlefront 2 versus Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Now, Star Wars in this one was actually Knights of the Old Republic, but because I've literally never touched that game in my life, I thought I'd change it to a different sort of older retro-y game uh, from Star Wars that I have played a lot of, which is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, I am looking forward to the remake or remade version of Knights of the Old Republic. It'll be cool to see what that game is like. Um, I've, I hear it's very good. 
But for this matchup, we've got Battlefront 2, and my winner is Battlefront 2. Of course. It's a great game. You should actually play it. It holds up pretty well. Okay, next up, Fallout New Vegas versus League of Legends. I've never played LOL before. League of Legends. Never. Now, Fallout New Vegas, I haven't played either, but I have played Fallout 4, and I feel like, you know, you generally understand what Fallout's going to bring once you've played one all the way through, which I'm, I'm not saying that in a bad way, but in a good way. Um, and so I liked Fallout 4, and a lot of people say that New Vegas is the best one, so I left it in there, and because of that, New Vegas is our winner, baby. On to the next. World of Warcraft versus Fortnite. Literally never played either, don't care about either, but I went with WoW because I hate Fortnite. Great job, Fortnite. You've, you've stuffed yourself. You've played yourself. Okay. Here we have... Horizon Zero Dawn and Burnout Paradise City. Now, both of these games were changed. I don't remember what was in the Horizon Zero Dawn slot, but it wasn't that. And Burnout Paradise City was just a different game in the Burnout series, but I haven't played that one, but I have played Paradise City. Now, Horizon Zero Dawn, I think, was a truly excellent game. Uh, for me, it's probably the only game, or one of the only games, where I wanted to read every piece of lore that I could find. Every note on the ground, every computer entry, everything. I wanted to find out what happened in this world. Um, and that's not even to mention the big ass dinosaur animals and things that you can see off in the distance and fight with. It's just a great game. Bit of a no contest here. Horizon Zero Dawn gets through. Okay, this one's very tough. One of the toughest ones that I had to do in this whole first round we have COD 4 Modern Warfare up against GoldenEye 007. Now, I played a lot of GoldenEye uh, back in the day on the Nintendo 64, and it was really the first game of its kind. It was really good, brought multiplayer up. But COD 4 Modern Warfare in particular has probably the best mission of maybe any game, including, you know, not just shooters, but like any game that exists in all Gillied Up. Uh, I think that's the name of the mission, uh, where you have the ghillie suit, you're stealthing along in like the, in Ukraine or wherever. Um, that I think is probably the best mission maybe of all time. And while GoldenEye was great and did a lot for its time, COD 4 is that bit newer and I do, do tend to fall towards newer games because they have better features, better functions, um, more to them, you know, larger memory sizes obviously. So this one was tough. But ultimately, I've given it to Modern Warfare. Um, that one could have gone either way. It's a bit tough for GoldenEye to come up against that in the first round. There's plenty of games here that GoldenEye would have beat. Okay, moving on. Journey versus Dishonored. Now, I've not really played either. I've played a little bit of Journey. Um, and I know that it won a ton of awards. So let's go ahead and give this one to Journey. It does look super interesting. And maybe at some point, I'll play it. Okay, next up in our little group of 16 games we have portal 2 versus the sims 3 now portal 2 is from what i've heard one of the greatest games of all time uh, i've played a different game in the sims franchise and the sims are good but they're just okay there's nothing crazy about them some people do dig really deep and there would probably be some people who pick the sims here but i think for this round i've got to give it to portal 2 super innovative lots of cool puzzles um yeah good fun all right, next up we have a couple of PlayStation juggernauts in God of War and Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima, relatively new uh, on the board here. Um, it was actually a different game in this bracket, but I think it was StarCraft, which I've never really heard of or played. I had to look it up to know what it was. Um, I thought Ghost of Tsushima deserved a spot. Um, so, Ghost of Tsushima versus God of War. Now, it's tough for ghost to come up against god of war here because god of war was an excellent game game of the year deservedly so in one of the best gaming years in a long time uh there were lots of good games that year and god of war came out on top and you know where else it comes out on top in this matchup against ghost well done god of war very good chance of winning this bracket uh i won't say which game won the ign one just in case you haven't seen but god of war did very well i will say that okay next up we have Sid Meier's Civilization 4 versus Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, this Assassin's Creed game was uh, Black Flag originally, 
But in my opinion, and I will argue this until the cows come home, that Assassin's Creed Origins is better than Black Flag. And lucky for me, cows don't come home very often, so I will die on this hill. Origins, the sense of exploration that it allowed, uh, the, the new format of the game, you know, you could be up on this, like, cliff in the middle of nowhere in the sandy sort of vastness, and you could see this, like, exotic city off in the distance, and you'd be, you'd be like, oh, I'm going to go there, I'm going to check that out. Uh, it really opened up the whole franchise. Unfortunately, I think Assassin's Creed has actually gone backwards since then, but Origins was excellent, and you know what? I've never really played one of the Civilization games, so Origins is going to get it here. Uh, I think even if I had played it, probably wouldn't win. Um, Alright, another tough one in our first round. We have The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time versus The uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Tough for both these guys to come come up against each other in the first round. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, essentially the creator of open world games versus The Elder Scrolls, which took what Ocarina of Time did and blew it up times a hundred. This is such a tough matchup. A lot of people think Ocarina of Time is the greatest game of all time. I don't think that. There's a video from Ego Raptor from Game Grumps, Aaron. Uh, I think he did a video on Ocarina of Time. You should go and check that out if you uh, maybe want a different opinion because he doesn't like it that much. Um, I still think it's quite good for its time, but I've got to give this one to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I've put, I finished Skyrim all the way through, played a lot of it. There are people who have played hundreds of hours more than me and are still going. So I've got to give this one to Skyrim. Bioshock versus Overwatch. Uh, not too interested in either of these games, although Bioshock, it was just a little bit before my time in terms of finding it. Um, if I had have found it when it came out, I maybe would have liked it. It looks kind of interesting, similar to the Fallout sort of style of game. Um, and Overwatch, just not really my thing. So I've given this one to Bioshock. Okay, Minecraft versus Fable 2. It's tough for Fable 2. I hear that a lot of people really do like it. Um, it's some people's favorite game. And that's totally understandable. It looks quite interesting. But Minecraft is Minecraft. Minecraft really only has Pokemon on its level of like sheer size and popularity uh, of, you know, how many people have bought the game, played the game, that type of thing. Also, Minecraft, there's just so much to do. I'd love to get a Minecraft series going on this channel. Once I get a PC, fingers crossed, I'll be able to go and do that. Um, so for today, Minecraft's making it through. It's one of the big games. It'd be tough to not have Minecraft get out of the first round. Let's be honest. Okay. Now we have one of the hot picks to win this tournament. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt up against Diablo 2. Now Diablo 2 is okay, but it's just okay. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, in my opinion, one of the best games ever made. Uh, it's going to be like God of War and a couple others that I've mentioned here. Going to have a very good chance of winning this whole tournament. Uh, so Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, I will get to discuss it more in future videos as we sort of dig deeper into these games, but I've got a lot to talk about with The Witcher 3, one of my favourites. Okay, next up for our last one on the left side of the bracket here, we have Doom versus Inside. Now I might be a bit controversial with this one, I've never really been into Doom. Uh, it doesn't really interest me a whole lot, super fast paced, just shooting dudes like crazy. I get why people like it, it's a classic as well, you know, was one of the first games of its genre, sort of similar to GoldenEye level type gaming, uh, but Inside I found super interesting to go through. Um, I watched a ton of people play it, the, the sort of journey that it takes you on as you go, super creative, super interesting. I know a lot of people are going Doom, but I'm going to go Inside. If you want to hit me, that's okay, I understand. But for us here, we've gone with Inside. But if you want to Doom, look, it, I'd be happy with either of these picks. I understand both, okay? All right. Okay, moving on to our second half of the bracket here. Up the top, we have Super Mario Odyssey versus Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, a lot of Mario represented here again, okay? This side has a bit, quite a bit of Mario on it. Uh, Mario Odyssey versus Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm not great at Super Smash Bros. I don't play it a lot. I've got a bunch of them. Um, 
but I've never been very good. I don't, I don't really enjoy that type of gameplay. I need some sort of story or something that I can progress and get through. I know there's a little bit in that in Smash Bros, but it's just not, they don't do it the way that I necessarily enjoy games. Um, Mario Odyssey, on the other hand, I think is probably the best entry in the Mario franchise. So for this round, uh, both, you know, very new Mario games or Nintendo games in general, uh, I have to give it to Super Mario Odyssey. It's a game that I played all the way through. I really enjoyed it. Okay, The Last of Us versus Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I've not really had much to do with the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Um, I know a lot of people really do like it, but for me it just looks a bit silly, a bit eh, like, and that's okay, but it's not really my thing. The Last of Us, however, I think is, like I've mentioned before with some of these games, one of the best that ever existed. Um, you could even put in The Last of Us 2 here, which I know a lot of people uh, get a big fuss about, but look, they're both good games. Um, so for this round, The Last of Us gets the luck of the draw and moves on to our next round. Okay, Halo 2 versus Mass Effect 2. Uh, I've never really had an Xbox, so Halo I haven't had much to do with, and Mass Effect just looks a bit silly, or there was a lot of people making fun of Mass Effect, uh, maybe not Mass Effect 2, but some of the later ones, about just how poorly it was made. And Halo 2 is the premier franchise for Xbox, so for this round, Halo 2 makes it through. Well done, Halo 2, you did well. Okay, another tough matchup here. GTA 5 versus Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Now this Uncharted was actually number 2 in the series, but I think that number 4 is better. I think that it's got more features, it's obviously newer, it kind of wraps the whole story together. Um, I really like Uncharted 4, I like all of them, but I think Uncharted 4 is best representative of the franchise. Um, and GTA 5, probably the best GTA that's been made, at least that I've played, I've played a few of them. Um, I wish they would make the next one. God, jeez, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Um, this one's tough. I know a lot of people are going to put in GTA 5 because there's so much to do. Open sandbox. I generally like open worlds. I really do. But Uncharted 4 is quite close to my heart. It was one of the earliest games that I played that got me into playing more games. Before then, I just kind of played sporting games. Like I didn't really have much to do with gaming. Uncharted 4 really helped me kind of break into that, and for this, Uncharted 4 is moving on to our next round. That one though, I like both, could go either way, I know a lot of people are going to say GTA, um, but for me, I've had to go with Uncharted 4. Okay, Street Fighter 2 versus Pokemon Heart Gold. Now, Pokemon Heart Gold in this one was actually Pokemon Yellow, which Let's be honest, it's just not as good as the later Pokemons. Pokemon Yellow is like the first Pokemon game made, and I know that that's very special, but look, Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon in general just has evolved in terms of its games and what you can do, the features. Back then, they didn't even have a difference between attack and special attack. Certain moves were all one type of attack. Like, it just has, the franchise has evolved, so to speak. That was a good one, wasn't it? Uh, so much since the late 90s, um, rightfully so, it's been 20 odd years. Uh, and although Pokemon Heart Gold is not my favourite, my favourite is Diamond, Pearl and Platinum, I can see that Heart Gold is probably the best one. You can go to both regions, uh, you've got lots of important battles. I will get more into Pokemon Heart Gold in a later video on the next round. Because guess what? Pokemon Heart Gold has made it through to our second round matchups. Okay, here we go again, another Mario game against Batman Arkham City, Super Mario 64. Now, Super Mario 64 essentially did the same thing as Ocarina of Time, opened up that sort of open world, 3D type world possibility for Mario. So very, very special for, uh, game in the franchise against Batman Arkham City, which from what I've heard, I've not played it, but a lot of people really, really like Batman Arkham City. And if you're a Batman fan, which I'm not really, um, then I can see why you would like this game. The combat's done really well, the setting is really cool, um, I can definitely appreciate it, but for me in this round, I've got to go with Super Mario 64. I think it'd be a little unfair, I suppose, although it is unfair that Ocarina of Time didn't make it earlier, so, you know, what are you gonna do, hey? Eh? Uh, I think Batman Arkham City actually did quite well in the IGN matchup, so 
bit of a different one here. Okay, Dark Souls versus Shadow of the Colossus. Now, I I I really do like Shadow of the Colossus. I haven't played it, but I've watched you, other YouTubers play all the way through. Um, and it's a game that I have downloaded and really would like to play at some point. I just got to get around to it um, because it looks super cool. I love the setting of the these giant colossus that you have to go and find, and, and the story is really interesting. Takes a bit of a different turn. But Dark Souls is Dark Souls. For a lot of people, I think Dark Souls is going to end up winning this bracket. So, you know, it's tough to not give it past Dark Souls. And how many times is something referred to as the Dark Souls of some type of game? Like, that type of influence on the gaming world needs to be recognized. And right here, it's recognized in a victory in the first round. Well done, Dark Souls. Okay, in our final one of this uh, top half here, we have Half-Life 2 versus Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now... Rise of the Tomb Raider actually beat Half-Life 2 here. I know how crazy that sounds, but it did in the IGN one. I have played all the way through Rise of the Tomb Raider, and it was a good game. It was all right. It was fine. I like the Tomb Raider series, especially these new ones that they've done. I think they've done a really good job of sort of re-bringing up the franchise. But Half-Life 2 is one of the best games ever. Now, I haven't played through it. It was my brother that played through the Half-Life games, but I sat down and watched him. Um... I haven't seen all of Half-Life 2, but I've seen enough to know that it was really great and I really want to actually watch him play more. It's one game that I would watch him play. Um, and so even I can recognize as someone who's played through the entirety of Rise of the Tomb Raider that Half-Life 2 has to go through. It would be a travesty, which it was a travesty when it didn't in the IGN one if Half-Life 2 got knocked out in the first round. Okay, on to our final group here. In our first matchup, it's Super Metroid versus Apex Legends. I've not played either of these. I don't care much about Apex Legends. I've not played any Super Metroid, but I know a lot of people like it. Uh, old Nintendo franchise, I think it's Nintendo. It's on the Super Smash Bros. games, I'm going to assume, right? But for this round, let's just put it through, okay? Moving on. Animal Crossing New Horizon, that's written really small there, versus Titanfall 2. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon, I really enjoyed. I've mentioned previously on this channel that I want to bring it up. Uh, I want to uh, make some videos on Animal Crossing and have that on this channel and stream it as well. Um, I just need the capability to do that for Switch games. And so I've put in Animal Crossing New Horizon. Moving on to our next round. Uh, I really want to show you guys my island for that. I've, I've not completed the island, but I haven't played the game since I first smashed it back in when I got it um, but I think there's a lot of possibilities is there little things I would change yeah but it's a very good game okay another tough one here Half-Life Alex versus Bloodborne now before Half-Life Alex there was not really any Half-Life well not Half-Life games sorry there were any VR games that really interested me I don't think that the technology had come far enough um, it's also super expensive you can't really access it Half-Life Alex kind of started to change that. It's a game I would play. Um, and I think it's a very good game. But Bloodborne is kind of is essentially Dark Souls with a different setting and a few tweaks. Um, so for this round, I've put in Bloodborne. I spelt it wrong on purpose, okay? Don't crucify me. Moving on. Tetris versus Rock Band. Tetris is like the all-time the, the all time original game. It's the OG of games is Tetris. How can it compete? How can Rock Band compete with Tetris, the OG? It doesn't. So Tetris moves on, okay? Hades versus Metroid Prime. Now, Metroid Prime, from what I've heard, is, is also a really cool game. Um, I had to look it up to find a little bit out. Uh, but Hades just recently won, like, a bunch of awards and was put up for Game of the Year, like, got really, really close. And out of the games that I would play out of both of them, I'd give it to Hades. So my vote goes to Hades. Okay, we're coming towards the end now. Super Mario Bros. 3 versus Persona 5 Royal or Royale. I don't know how to. I don't know what one it, it is. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 again. Another Mario. Another Mario game being uh, represented in this bracket. I'm not a big fan of that. I really. I keep putting them through because yeah, they are good games, but I think they've got a bit of an easier sort of first round matchup for most of them. I don't like that there's so many Mario games represented here. Pick it one or two, max, you know? And I think a lot of people would even put Galaxy in here somewhere, which didn't make it. So it is a bit tough, I suppose. 
versus Persona 5, which I do want to play, or at least check it out. It's on the PlayStation collection. I'm a PlayStation guy. Uh, but for this one, look, Mario Bros, I suppose Mario wouldn't be where it is now without that game, so give it to Mario. Okay, last couple. Castlevania Symphony of the Night versus Resident Evil 4. I've really enjoyed getting to know the Resident Evil lore lately and, and more of the stories. They've been smashing out their games. I watch YouTubers play them all the time. Uh, I'm not really a horror guy. I get I get a little bit scared. A, a little bit scared. Uh, so I don't play them, but I do watch other people play them. Um, it, I find that it helps me get through them. Um, and I've really enjoyed Resident Evil 4 versus Castlevania, which just looks like a fun little thing that you can play from time to time. Um, so for this round, Resident Evil 4, moving on. Okay, now our final matchup, we have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild versus Final Fantasy 7. Now, I think what works against Final Fantasy here is that there are so many of them. This is number 7, and I think it came out in the 90s. That's insane. So, coming up against Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as well, also very tough. I think that Legend of Zelda, like a couple other games, has a very, very good chance of winning this whole tournament. I think it's going to be very, uh, it's going to do very well and get all the way through or just about. So, for me, when I played Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's actually the first and probably only Zelda game that I've actually played. And that was because it looked super good and super interesting. It's probably the best game at uh, seeing something in the distance and going, wow, that thing looks really cool. I'm going to go and check it out. And then you can. You can just go there. You can just check it out when, whenever you want. Um, so I think that sense of exploration really isn't done better in any other game than in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And so for that reason, and what we'll discuss further on in the next round, Legend of Zelda gets through. Um, okay, so that is our full first round of the bracket completed. How's that, hey? What do we reckon? So here we will have a quick little look over them again. Moving into our next little round that we'll have, uh, which will be in a separate video. So I'll probably do round two in a video and then uh, maybe round three in its own video or I'll just do round three and onwards. It's because there's so many games to get through that we've had to kind of uh, break this up. But that's all of our first round matchups done. Take a look at the second round matchups here that we've got going for our next round and let me know who you think should get through and let me know who you think should have made it through uh, this first round matchup against some of the, the other games. If you think that I made the wrong choice, maybe I did. I probably didn't, but you know, I make pretty good choices. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, what you're excited to see with some of these games moving forward. This is probably going to be what my next couple of videos are. Um, or at the very least, I will make sure that I get through this bracket and we will eventually have a winner of the actual greatest game of all time. And this is the definitive choice. So you best be ready, okay? Um, all right. That's it from me for now. I'll see you when we get to the next round. Bye-bye.